some coins to make those new beastly pickups head on over to go buy mmo.com and use code zerk for a five percent discount on your order get those coins get those players the whole thing wobbing. What is going on guys? It is Zersum today with another YouTube video today. I'm going to do a lineup update and show you guys my new 91 overall team. I've made a couple upgrades and I've changed a couple of things since my shopping spree and definitely since my last lineup update. So I figured I would do another one and show you guys exactly what the team is looking like. But as you guys can see, I have 367,000 coins. Not enough to really make any big time upgrades, but... We do have Team of the Year coming up, as well as we have the new Gauntlet Master, which will be coming up, which, because I don't know what that is. Basically, if you've done all the Gauntlets and you've got all the Gauntlet players, like the 92 Brandon Marshall, the Donald Penn, those guys, then you can take all those guys and throw them into a new set, and you actually get to choose one of those players, but it's going to be an upgradable version, and it's going to be auctionable. So that will definitely help with my team, but let's get right into the team. So as you guys can see on the offense, we have a quarterback, Snow Beast, Marcus, Mariota. Now compare him to Tom Brady, 89 speed, 88 awareness, 87 throw power, 87 short with an 85 medium, 85 deep, and an 86 play action with a 91 throw on the run. Definitely Marcus Mariota is a pretty solid quarterback and definitely better than Tom Brady for me. Just because of the fact that he's very mobile, he can scramble, and I definitely need that at my quarterback position. Now he also has a 91 acceleration, so definitely... This car is an extremely good scrambling and mobile quarterback, and he's actually pretty accurate as well. And he also has Energizer, so hit a little juke move as you're rolling outside the pocket or as you're scrambling, you'll get a little bit of your stamina back, and that's definitely huge. Now at the running back position, we have 96 Ladani and Tomlinson. Compare them to Ezekiel Elliott, Team of the Week. You can see their stats, 92 speed, 94 agility, 94 excel, he also has 94 carrying, 93 spin, 94 elusiveness with a 79 truck and a 91 juke this combo right here is absolutely deadly 78 strength both of them can definitely catch the ball 86 and a 75 respectively not too bad for either of those guys then when it comes down to the stiff arm 95 to 90 spin 92 to 88 and a juke 91 to 91 so these cards both are definitely very very solid cards and a stamina of a 95 of course zeke only has an 89 stamina but what i do is i have the danny thompson starting but Zeke is the third down running back, so I don't have a tired LT in there on third downs. Now at the fullback position, we have Don Tari Poe, 74 speed, 95 strength, 84 run block, 68 catch, 73 carry, and a 82 trucking. Now, honestly, the fullback position for me, I really don't use that much, so having Don Tari Poe there is just kind of for fun. Then we have Dwight Clark at wide receiver number one. Compare him to my wide receiver number two, which is Des Bryant. 89 speed, 93 catch, 84 looseness, 94 spectacular catch, 88 release, 91 round running, 94 catch and traffic, and a 94 jumping. And of course, we have Des Bryant to give the team that plus two catch and traffic bonus. And of course, because Des is one of, one of my favorite wide receivers in the NFL. And honestly, this Des Bryant is pretty damn solid. So, let's take a look at the run block on these guys. They both have pretty good 73, 68, and an impact block on both these guys, 66 for both of them. Then at the wide receiver for the slot, we have Andre Reid, who's an absolute stud for 6'2", and he's playing in the slot. He's the same height as Dez, and I haven't played in the slot. That's absolutely ridiculous. With 91 speed, 92 catch, 89 elusiveness, 91 spectacular catch, 91 release, 93 round running with a 91 catch of traffic, and a 91 jumping. And he's actually not too bad of a run blocker himself with a 54 impact and a 65 run block, so I can basically run or pass any given play because my wide receivers are all pretty good run blockers. Then, at the tight end position, we have Tyler Reifert to give that plus two spectacular catch. Take a look at him. He has 82 speed, 72 strength, 82 run block, 88 catch, 86 release with an 86 route running, and a 92 catch in traffic with an 89 spectacular catch. How in the world is Lane Johnson at 87 overall tight end? I have no idea, but Tyler Reifert, a pretty solid card. Then, on the offensive line, we have Donald Pengall, the champion. Bruce Matthews, Matt Paradis, 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 not really sure how to say his name, Christian Nikoye, and Lane Johnson. Now, if there's any position on this team I want to upgrade, probably going to be the center position, 
or maybe tight end but that plus two spectacular catch is really big and same goes with Dez with a plus two catch in traffic so it's really tough to get rid of either of these guys but if i had to go with one position probably center or one of these left guys bruce matthews probably and then we're going to go on to the defense, and here it is, the absolute studs that hold down this team. We have Tyron Matthew at the free safety position. Now, of course, Tyron Matthew gives a plus two zone coverage, so 89 speed, 92 excel, 89 play rec, 82 tackle, 89 man, 92 zone, 90 pursuit, and an 88 hit power. Then, at the strong safety position, we have Micah Hyde, who gives a plus two to tackling, 88 speed, 90 excel, 94 play rec, 90 tackle, 89 man, 93 zone, which is actually 95 with Tyron Matthews boost. 95 pursuit and a 76 hit power and when it comes to block shed for both these guys they're not too bad block shed on tyron matthew 76 and micah hyde 79 so these guys can definitely stop the run they can definitely get some interceptions and that's exactly what they do they're basically two big ball hawks playing in the backfield so then at the linebacker position we have 93 overall to suggs which is nat for me because of the fact that, of course, he's my snow beast, and comparing to my left side linebacker, Lamar Woodley, 78 speed compared to 83, 91 strength to 88, 96 tackle to 90, 94 play rack, 94 block shot, 94 power move, and of course, Lamar Woodley, 93 block shot, 92 power move, and they both have 93 hit power. So, both these guys, definitely some very solid linebackers, and they both are pretty dang good at rushing the passer, especially. Terrell Suggs, when it comes to stopping the run, he is an absolute stud with secure tackler and 96 tackle. He is definitely an absolute beast. Then at the middle linebacker, we have two very solid middle linebackers, but of course, we run a 3-4, so we do use both these guys sometimes, but most of the time, I'm actually running dime. So I only have one middle linebacker, and then I have my backup strong safety, kind of playing a middle linebacker role, so I use her shades here. With 90 speed and 91 tackle with an 89 hit power, then Brandon Marshall. When he's in there by himself, he has 86 zone, which is actually 88, thanks to my chemistry boost with Tyron Matthew. And I think I think it's actually 89 because he has Green React times two. But 93 tackle, 93 player work with a 90 block shed, and in a 93 pursuit. So he's definitely a very, very good linebacker. Just to play by himself, and I definitely like that card a lot. Just one himself. And then at the back of strong safety, we have Barry Church, which once I said before, he kind of plays like a middle linebacker role for me. And then at the right end position, we have Richard Dent. Comparing to my left end, which is Bo freaking Jackson. 84 speed, 92 strength, 92 block shed, 93 power move. And then Bo has 91 speed with 92 excel, 90 strength, 91 block shed, and a 91 power move. Now, honestly, Richard Dent probably gets more pressure than Bo Jackson. And you think that Bo Jackson might be able to do a little bit more with 91 speed. But honestly, he he's pretty decent. I mean, I, I can't say he's bad. But he doesn't really wow me. So if you're really looking to get Bo, I probably wouldn't go with defensive end Bo. Then we have Aaron Donald at defensive tackle compared to Richard Dent, who's an 89 overall uh, defensive tackle. 90 tackle, 88 block shed, 91 power move with an 83 finesse, and a 78 speed. So Aaron Donald, 92 overall with chemistry boost. And of course, he's power tier 3. That is an NAT card that I had, so I decided to power him up and make him power up tier 3. So, obviously, I would not throw his 500,000 coin card into that set to make him NAT. Then at the cornerback position, we have Rondé Barber and Josh Norman. 91 speed, 93 excel, 92 man, 96 zone, 94 press, and a 90 play rec. And, of course, you see Josh Norman's stats as well. Now, let's take a look at the block shit and the hit power of both these guys. And that is going to be a 71 and a 72 and a hit power of 72 and 77. So both those guys are very solid. And then, of course, in the slot, we also have DRC. And his stats are pretty good. 88 speed, 86 cell, 92 man, and an 87 zone. So probably want to get another cornerback to lock up this defense. I just need to get a third cornerback that has 91 zone. And then offensively, need to get a center. And then, of course, on the special teams, we have Caleb Sturgis and Brad Norman. We need to get another kicker, but that can wait a little bit. And then for the team items, we're running Patriots offense, Bears defense. And then here are the uniforms. We're rocking the zero chill, both the light and the dark. So we get those chemistry boosts and the zero chill boost. But that is all I have for you guys today. That is my new lineup, 9-1 overall. What should I make an upgrade with my coins? Where should I go? But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and comment. And let me know what your guys' team is looking like, your overalls. Are you guys excited for team of the year? Excited for the new Gauntlet champions? I am definitely very very excited for team of the year might sell my team when it comes time for it but that's still a couple weeks away so i have to make that decision but team of the year is definitely going to cause a market crash and i think you guys are definitely going to want to get rid of your squad and save some coins when that does come out but if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button subscribe and comment thank you guys so much for all the support 
New Year's was absolutely amazing. Christmas, December was absolutely amazing. And we hit 12,000 subscribers. So my goal for this New Year's, I forgot to even mention this, is actually going to be 25,000 subscribers. I think we can definitely go ahead and hit that. But thank you guys so much for the support. I will see you guys next time.